whistle. I will tell one, two, three, and then you jump, okay? Okay. One, two, three. Hello everyone and welcome to Thailand. So I took this trip to Thailand a month ago with my friend Mel after coming from China visiting our other friend. So in this vlog you'll see some of the places we visited in both Bangkok and in Chiang Mai, Thailand. This trip was absolutely amazing. It was interesting coming from China to Thailand to see some of the similarities and the differences. So I hope you enjoy. This reminded us a lot of where we just came from because we flew from China here. So basically along this strip is just Chinese cuisine and other little trinkets for you to purchase. And I would definitely recommend coming uh, to Chinatown in the evening because it looks amazing when everything is just lit up. So the next day we visited the Grand Palace and this is a place that many people would say is a must see when you come to Thailand. The Grand Palace is located in the heart of Bangkok. So basically this was a former residence for the for King Rama the first to King Rama the fifth. And recently actually I think um, last year um, in October if I'm correct, I know it was last year, but King Rama the ninth just passed away. So his son um, is going to be, uh, is the next king actually, is the next king. So when we visited the Grand Palace, because they are still mourning the passing of um, King Rama the ninth, they actually advise persons to wear black or white. Now many people came in different colors, but just to, um, you know, just to remember the, the king that just passed, they kind of recommended that you come in black or white. Now, 
Also, another thing about the Grand Palace, this is basically the place where the kings would welcome their guests, state guests and other foreign dignitaries. And it is absolutely beautiful. Like there are some temples within this area, which is, it was awesome. Like it was breathtaking. Like seriously, the architecture was amazing. The only thing, it was super crowded. Like I would recommend coming here probably early in the morning, I guess. Um, just so you can kind of you it won't be as crowded and then you would be able to get some nice photos and I think enjoy it better as well I am so mad that I did not have more footage from this this was the flower market every day um, they would actually come and make fresh floral arrangements every single day this was amazing. I wish I had more footage from it, but this is a must see when you go to Thailand. Okay. That's a seafood market area. Okay. And then we take a ferry across to another side, cycle to the fisherman village, the south hand area, go on the dirt road. Okay. okay. More dirt road and more muddy. Oh. And then lunch on the way. Yes. And then more muddy again. Okay. Catch the train back. Yes. Yeah, that's about. So we have, we have a full day. This is our bike on the train now. We've been really working it. Oh <laughs> 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 Basically, you could barely hear us, but what we were saying was we had no idea this is what we signed up for. So at this point, we had just arrived in Chiang Mai, Thailand, and this is the Airbnb where we stayed. Peter and Lynn were the host of this um, condo and the building actually is called the Astra. So this um, residence was right on the side of the Shangri-La Hotel and the night bazaar was about five minutes walk from us. So this place was like perfect. It, it was well located because the night bazaar is like where everything is at. So this is where all the restaurants are. Um, nightlife and also a lot of like street um, stores as well street shops it was it was like popping at night everything was there we didn't have to go far like literally it was a five minute walk and you could get anything they have food stores like everything we needed was a five minute walk away and I absolutely love this place um, it was nice it was very comfortable very different from you know that hotel feel that we had done previously so it was a good way to end the trip as well and Peter and Lynn were very accommodating like they told us where uh, to eat where to go basically everything about Chiang Mai they were very accommodating so I would put the information for this place in the description in case any of you want to go to Chiang Mai and want to stay at the Astro it was really nice so yeah this place was definitely a good experience for us. And now 
now to one of the best days I think I had on this trip in Thailand was when we went zip lining. This was so much fun. This was my first time, myself and Mel, this was our first time zip lining. And at first, I was a bit nervous, like looking at everything, like, oh my God, this is real. <laughs> but like, it was so much fun like the adrenaline, everything. It was so much fun. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. Like, I don't know, it was a cool experience. This place, I'm gonna put the information, I think it's called Eagle something. I'm gonna put it in the description, but they were really cool. Like, the instructors were amazing. We had an awesome, awesome time. I definitely recommend them. They were the best. So if you're going to Chiang Mai, definitely go zip lining with them I think it's Eagle zip lining I'm gonna put it in the description but they were amazing I enjoyed myself it was really really fun yeah <laughs> And of course, what is a trip to Thailand without a spa day? So that is exactly what we did in Chiang Mai. We went and we got a package actually. So I chose the Saba D package, which was awesome. It lasted for about three and a half, yeah, three and a half hours. And it was amazing, like much needed. It was so cool. And then also they gave us this mango sticky rice, which you see now. So it's basically like mango white rice at the bottom with like sweet milk and I don't know how that came together but it was delicious. You cannot go to Thailand and not try the mango sticky rice. Look at our friend that we met. Say hi. <laughs> Sawadika. Sawadika. <laughs> We, ha we happen to keep running into her. Uh, um, faithful Tuk Tuk Jaya. Yes, our faithful. We were actually somewhere else and we saw her again. She, like she gave us, us a ride <laughs> ev almost every day here in Chiang Mai. <laughs> so that's our friend. We better take pictures now. Pictures back. <laughs> and now the White Temple, or also known as Wat Rong Kung. This is one of the most recognizable temples in Thailand. And listen, so many visitors come here. It's actually outside the town of Chiang Rai. So it was about a two hour drive from Chiang Mai where we stayed. I'm not gonna try to pronounce the name of the, um, who designed this white temple. So I'm just gonna put it at the bottom. <laughs> but he's a famous um, Thai visual artist. And listen, this place, like the details and everything is like mind blowing. Like you really have to take your time to really look at everything. But this place was amazing. Another must-see when you go to Thailand. Fly over to Chiang Mai or Chiang Rai and definitely go and visit the White Temple. This, I, I have no words, like you can see it. So imagine seeing this in person. It was, it was incredible, it was a good experience. And like I said, a must-see when you go to Thailand. If you want to have smooth skin, one shot that is enough. Two shot, I don't know what happened. So you smooth skin. Take easy. Yeah, lo sé, pero me da impresionante. It is the snake. Whiskey, everyone. Just plastic, not the real. Plastic. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> real, or, real or not? Real. Uh, so next whiskey actually for the lady. If you want to make more population. Uh, <laughs> you know? But don't worry, gentlemen. If you try one shot, something wake up at night. You know what I mean? You can become the king cobra. <laughs> 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 ah, bravo! 
This is the tiger penis. Actually, tiger penis is for make you have more power. Just watch what you can become butterfly to be part of river. Hey everyone, welcome bring. Which one do you want? Come on, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Excuse me. And that's it for my vlog to Thailand. It was amazing. I hope that you all enjoyed and I'll definitely have more vlogs coming up. So make sure to like and subscribe and thank you for watching. Bye.